Okay, what are we doing today, Janelle? Biking to Walmart home office. There we go. Headquarters. Headquarters, let's go. All right, so we got about 2.3 mile bike ride and getting there is gonna be straight uphill. So we'll see how this goes. Okay, here we go. Okay, so we made it down here, but before we go to the Walmart home office, I want to show you one thing, and that is the flagship Walmart store, which is right across the street from the Walmart home office. It's that way, and the home office is that way. All right, we're gonna head on over there now. All right, y'all, we made it. Okay, ready? And finally, we made it to the Walmart headquarters, which they call the Walmart home office. And for those of you who don't know, Walmart had a revenue of $500 billion in 2018, and they employ 2.3 million workers worldwide. Worldwide, let me reiterate that, worldwide. So this is our first time here on campus. We've driven by it, but we're gonna try to see if there's anything else around here. So we're gonna try to bike around and possibly find something else to show you guys. We'll be back with you soon. And not even a thousand meters away from the Walmart home office, which is down here, there's a cemetery, and one of the graves in the cemetery is Samuel Walton. And if you don't know who that is, that is the founder of Walmart and Sam's Club. And here is where he is laid to rest. Okay, so after riding around the Walmart headquarters here in Bentonville, Arkansas, what are your thoughts about the headquarters and the campus? I like it, I mean, there's no security, which is kind of scary. We just rode our bikes right onto the, into the parking lot. I mean, people looked at us, but they didn't say anything. Yeah, and my, my impression is it's kind of small, a lot smaller than I thought it would be for a $500 billion company. Global headquarters, too. Yeah, all right, let's head back. I'm making it. Good job. I know I said we were doing the pre-Thanksgiving dinner yesterday, but we decided to do it today instead, so we're gonna deep fry the turkey right now. All right. All right, slow. Slow and steady wins the race. Okay, and a quick 40 minutes later, the turkey is done. So Connor, my soon-to-be step-nephew, is going to explain how to finish the turkey. Okay, so to finish the turkey, you have to let it sit for 20 minutes before you can cut it or eat it. So we're basically just waiting for that right now. And, uh, and then we can dig in. Yes. That's right. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Today we'll be back with another one tomorrow. As always, like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you tomorrow. Go and do the hand. All the way.